turning now to a possible ray of hope in the quest for the, a treatment for the coronavirus. A drug that was developed for Ebola but failed to stop that virus is showing some promise against this one. Paula Ferris is here with more on all that. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Robin. We could all use a little bit of good news. And right now, this drug is being used on those with the most severe cases of coronavirus. And so far, it has been successful. This morning, as the nation battles the growing crisis, a potential glimmer of hope. Officials are looking at several drugs that are already in production to see if they could potentially battle this deadly virus. And one in particular has been mentioned several times by the nation's top experts. There are a number of candidate therapies that literally, as I speak to you today, are being tested in randomized controlled trials. One of these is called remdesivir. Remdesivir is a medication that uh, people are experimenting with to treat. Uh, coronavirus. And again, that looks promising thus far. Remdesivir, which is delivered through an IV, was originally created to help fight Ebola. It was not successful, but it had few side effects. And now some coronavirus patients are being offered the non-FDA approved drug on a trial basis. My husband's 44. We never saw this coming. It's just been it's devastating. Like Amanda Pomichan's husband, T2, a father of three young daughters, who she says is in critical condition from coronavirus, and he was just administered his first dose of remdesivir. I'm very hopeful, very hopeful. And Chris Kane, whose health rapidly deteriorated after he tested positive for coronavirus. You know, every morning I'd have a fever, and it was very, very, very tough to breathe. He was admitted to a hospital on Monday, March 9th. Doctors tried everything, but to no avail. The next day, he was administered remdesivir, which he says finally saved him. Uh, I think within 48 hours, I was feeling uh, a, lo a lot better than where I was. I think that remdesivir um, gave it the extra jump start or kickstart or whatever I needed to, to kind of turn that corner. So good to hear, right? Chris was given a five day course of remdesivir, which is administered through an IV. Doctors expect him to make a full recovery. Now, as we've been reporting this morning, we're still about 12 to 18 months away from a vaccine. But because this particular drug has been so successful, our medical unit says it can be fast tracked for FDA approval, Robin, and then administered for emergency use. You're talking about a ray of hope. I think we may have it, Robin. Extremely promising. Thank you so much, Paula. Let's go back to Dr. Jen Ashton in our call center with more. So so, Jen, tell us more about this drug. Well, Robin, what's appealing about this drug and many others that are being studied right now is that we already have safety um, data on it, we have dosing data, and it's available. So those are three really important criteria. But to be clear, this drug has gotten a lot of attention. We still don't have conclusive data. We have anecdotal case reports, which are important, but we need, obviously, a lot more patients. But there are dozens of other antiviral medications that are also being tested tested, um, and these are right now being largely given to the patients who are in most critical condition. So, Jen, how long would a fast-track approval by the FDA take, and, and how will doctors decide who gets to use it? Well, the latter question, George, is the most critical um, patients that are not recovering with supportive measures. Um, and in terms of timeline, with this emergency use authorization or compassionate use, uh, these drugs can be given off-label uh, many, many times. So, again, we're going to be watching these clinical trials closely. And they're in the first stage of clinical trials, Doc, but talk us through the process and how long will it take it to make them available if these trials are successful? Well, remember, the, there are clinical trials for these drugs which are already out and available. That is key, especially if we start to see more patients becoming critically ill with coronavirus. But similar to the vaccine news, you know, safety efficacy needs to be tested in small groups and then larger groups. So I think we're going to see this proceed at a fast pace. But we also have to remember, you guys, that for a lot of the critical ill patients with coronavirus, they get a super infection with a bacterial pneumonia. So again, they'll be given antibiotics antibiotics for that, but these antiviral therapies are really important. And as we hear the case counts go up and unfortunately death counts go up, it's also really important to remember that at, as of now, about 80,000 people have recovered. So um, to keep, keep our eye on that news also. Yeah, we want to see that number go up yes, and we do. up and we up. Do. Okay, Jen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.